Kentucky's governor and Republicans in the Kentucky legislature often don't agree on much, but one common belief is that education will be a big focus this coming budget year. Senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Emma Gefter were in Lexington today talking to those in power about their priorities for 2024. One of the Kentucky Chamber's big priorities for this coming legislative session is improving workforce participation that includes in the classroom. I actually talked to one state lawmaker about some of the education related changes we could see in the next year. I look for a very busy education session in 24. Kentucky Representative James Tipton says the issues within JCPS will get plenty of attention in this coming budget year in Frankfurt. Tipton, who leads the House Education Committee, says bus driver sick outs in Louisville have gotten his attention. He pointed to discipline on buses being a huge problem and hinted a new bill geared toward drivers could be on the horizon. How can we give bus drivers more authority? Uh, in these discipline type of issues, so they're not facing these on a daily basis. Tipton, a Republican, also admitted states surrounding Kentucky have upped their public school teacher salaries, putting more pressure on Kentucky to follow suit. The newly reelected Governor Andy Bashir, a Democrat, plans to urge 11% educator pay raises statewide in his upcoming budget proposal next year. I have faith that we will put more money into public education to allow local school districts to make those choices. Will there be strings tied at this point? I can tell you on day 58 of the session. So you don't foresee raises being mandated in any sort of way? I think that is highly unlikely, but anything's possible. Lawmakers also confirming to me there likely will be a resurrected effort to expand school choice across the state. Sort of the one big issue that we haven't been able to have a home run on it that, that I'm focused on. Senate Majority Floor Leader Damon Thayer says that could come in the form of amending the state's constitution, which could show up on your ballots a year from now. Parents deserve uh, to have choices uh, about where they, they send their, their child to school. I think we need to make it more affordable for low income and middle income families to send their kids to private school if they choose to do so. The General Assembly will convene in January. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11, on your side. Representative Tipton tells us in the last budget year, back in 2022, the state put $500 million toward public education. Ultimately, every school district gets to decide where their portion of that money is invested.